friends and welcome back to my channel. Also, welcome if you are new. So today's video is a bit different than what I normally do. Normally, I throw in some decorating and stuff like that here and there, but for the most part, I do cleaning. However, today we are doing an entire room makeover. As you guys know, I've been working in our master bedroom. Did the black wall, changed the curtains, the bedding, the rug. Nothing overly crazy, but gave it a really good facelift. And today, well, the past couple of days, we are working on the master bathroom on a budget. I can't tell you guys, I am obsessed with the way it turned out. It is so beautiful. I took it from builder grade to just the perfect spa, relaxing feel that I wanted for the bathroom. And I'm gonna show you guys everything I did step by step on a budget. Hey, at least I'm breathing. First, I'm just emptying everything out of this bathroom. I needed to obviously get the towels out, the stuff on the floor, as well as everything on this counter. However, I did know that this was going to take me more than a day, so I tried to keep everything within reasonable distance of each other because there is no way I was getting this whole bathroom done in one day. I also wanted to just wipe down all the counters just to make sure it was clean Obviously, you have to kind of clean as you go, but there was like little beard hairs and everything all over the counter that I wanted to get cleaned up. And then I wanted to also take down any fixtures. I've been spending way too many thoughts on what went wrong. Also, you're probably wondering why the blue tape on the mirror. I ordered a new mirror and I wanted to see if I was comfortable with getting something smaller than what we currently had. Is what goes up finally must come down. Hey, at last I'm standing. So here's what I'm doing. So this is the gray that I use all over the house. So people ask all the time, but it's the Colonnade Gray from Sherwin-Williams. This is all over my house. However, I have probably about over a quarter of a can of this and I want it a little bit darker. So I have some sample cans from when we bought the house and I was trying to figure out what gray I liked. And we're gonna try mixing them. I'm showing you this because all the time I have people asking me what color I'm using. Since today we're trying to be budget friendly and use what we've got and only spend a little bit, we're gonna, we're gonna experiment. Now I just want to test this color, let it dry, and see if I actually like it. I think I will though. I just knew I wanted something a little bit darker, still in the gray family. And mixing those three with that one partial can gave me almost a full gallon, which should be perfect for this bathroom. So, we'll just do a square and see how it dries. Your face, we were just kids, but I knew right away that I 
I will be with you until I stop breathing I will keep loving you as long as my heart's beating So this painting definitely took a long time. I wish I could paint this fast with it just sped up. However, I had on this day to take Xander to school, pick him up from school, take the boys to jujitsu class while doing all of this, and obviously the obvious mom stuff of making sure the kids were fed, Freya was breastfed, and all the things. So I probably only got like a wall done at a time and then came back to finish just because I was working around all those other things. I also am cutting in with just my brush on this wall with the mirror. I do plan on doing an accent wall. So that is why I'm painting over and I'm not worrying about being super neat on that wall because I know I'm going to be covering that wall up with some special accent pieces that I bought. But I normally always cut in. I feel like it's a lot neater, a lot cleaner. There were a few areas I ended up taping, but that was only because they were at angles that even though I like cutting in, it just was way too awkward and I was not comfortable with staying steady with the brush to get that clean, crisp line. Like I said, that this is all I got done on this day, which I was totally okay with. I wanted to take this mirror down, but honestly, I looked at it and there was no way I was going to be able to do this without Bobby being home. So later that night, him and I took it down together. I did not film that, but this mirror compared to the mirror in our half bath when I did the half bath is obviously way, way bigger. Um... So there was no way I could take it down myself. So I just waited till he got home from work. We took it down. That way on the next day, I could get started right away with the accent wall. Staying up all night. Everything is all right. Oh, I want to be with you. Oh, I want to be with you. Let me be the sun. Also, like I said before, we were still using this bathroom, so I did get new curtains from Amazon, just white ones, and I wanted to put those up right away so that we could actually take a shower without worrying about our neighbors seeing all our goodies. I don't think they want to see us in our birthday suits. Be 
so now I want to distress. So this is the wood paneling I got. So very basic white. However, they kind of just blend together when you put them on the wall. So I'm taking half. I bought four boxes. So I'm taking two boxes and I'm going to give it more of this look. That way when it goes up on the wall, there's some contrast throughout the wall and it just has a lot more interest to it. So we are going to do that and just play with it. I'm using this stain. It's what I had in the house, just a classic um, Jacko bean <laughs> color. And we're just gonna lightly stain this half of the wood to give it more contrast and feel to that wood wall. So I didn't show this last night because I could not get this mirror down myself. So Bobby came home and we took it down. But this is where I want to do all that wood. So I have everything off the wall. I'm not even worrying about filling the holes because these are just going to cover them. So makes prep work a little bit easier not having to worry about the different patchwork. Now the reason I started at this point is I wanted to make sure that I didn't have to make any weird cuts right by the counter. So I started at the counter height and worked up and down. And I did do all of the cuts with my husband's saw. I learned very quickly that you should make these cuts as you go because if these are off slightly and you can't fit it into its place, this stuff is sticky and I really had to maneuver stuff. So after making that mistake once or twice, I ended up getting a lot of leg workouts on this day because I was going up and down those stairs a million times. So highly recommend bringing some sort of saw upstairs. I could have brought the table saw upstairs, but I really didn't want all the um, sawdust and everything. But if you have something smaller that would work for cutting wood like this, recommend having it where you're doing your work. It would have made this a lot, lot quicker. And a reminder, if you are working with light fixtures, make sure you turn off your power because you do not want to take that chance and zap yourself. Yes, I wasn't moving this light, but I wanted to obviously fit all these wood pieces around it to give it a nice flush finish. So make sure you turn your breakers off before you're messing with any electrical. Please, please, if you're watching this, do not electrocute yourself because I would feel really, really bad. <laughs> Every time you pass me by, I 
about you, I wish you were mine After I had all that up, I just wanted to go around and caulk the edges. This will really, really give you that finished look. If you skip this step, it's not the same. Now, you can use caulk. Otherwise, you can also use like a quarter round or something like that. You just want to finish off these edges. It gives it a much cleaner look. This is actually a better angle where you're going to be able to see how much better it looks just with a thin bead plus when you're making those cuts naturally there's probably unless you're like a pro i am definitely not a pro there's going to be some areas that there's bigger gaps than others and this just perfectly fills it in and just makes it look more intentional and a lot cleaner of a project so do not skip the caulking then the next thing I was doing was figuring out where I wanted the new mirror. So I figured out the center. That's why I put the blue tape there. But a little trick to how I hang big things like this. I take painter's tape the size of the piece. I wanted to mark the center. But then also mark where the brackets are. That way I can bring the tape into the bathroom. And level it out and figure out where I want it on out the wall rather than bringing the whole mirror in that's a headache doing it this way makes life so so much easier and thankfully i had my little helper bjorn to help me just hold the mirror to put it in place because it was definitely big enough that i was not going to be able to hook one side and then the other but he's my big strong boy and helped mommy out once again And then moving on to building the shelf that I ordered on Amazon. This was super easy to put together. Um, it was a little bit more interesting trying to figure out how to get it on the wall. But once again, I had Bjorn's help to help me mark where I needed to put everything in. So big, big recommendation to have somebody home with you that can help you. Um, Bjorn is five and not yet in kindergarten. He goes to kindergarten um in fall so he is home with me and freya all day every day but he is definitely at an age to be a really good helper when i need him so i just had him come in under me once i knew i had it level i had my blue level on there and at the height i wanted and made him put little dots in all the holes so i knew where to put my anchors This shelf was actually super easy to install. However, you need the anchors. If you're someone that skips anchors, you need the anchors. And they're really not that hard. The hardest part of getting those anchors in was finding my husband's drill bits. I ended up having to message him because I had no idea where his drill bits are. But ended up getting it in and now onto the fun part, decorating and accessorizing. I hope it's not too late I want you back here with me 
We never should have said it's better this way. I'd rather be with you than someone I don't know. Now it's like we're living in two separate worlds. Come on back to me. Say that you won't go. I can't cope without you, and I wanna hold you close. Say that you won't go. Say that you won't go. Thank you for everyone that is still watching. Make sure you stick around till the end because I am doing a final walkthrough to let you know where I got everything. Barely say goodbye before you disappear. It's been so cold without you. I'm not gonna lie. Don't know what I do without you. Maybe we could try. Try to figure out a way to put our past aside. I've realized I only want I hope it's not too late. I want you back here with me. We never should have said it's better this way. I'd rather be with you than someone I don't know. Now it's like we're living in two separate worlds. Come on back to me. Say that you won't. Obviously this part isn't necessary, however I saw some fun folding techniques on TikTok and actually if you follow me on Instagram or TikTok you would have seen this little toilet paper trick and I just thought it was so pretty and I wanted the bathroom to be perfect for when Bobby got home from work so I just made a little flower to go on the toilet paper. Like I said, not practical but hey if this is a guest bathroom or if you're like trying to sell your house and trying to stage it. It's just a fun little extra technique you can do. All right, I told you I would let you know where I got everything. So we are going to do a walkthrough. That way I can just explain everything. These mats I got from Home Goods. I just want something lighter and brighter, especially since my husband really likes these floors. So I wanted to change them, but he loved them. So we kept those. I also got plain white curtains off of Amazon. I kept my shears since they were perfectly good and they worked well with the white just to lighten and brighten it up in here. The towels I got from Home Goods as well. Once again, I wanted something light, bright, cozy. These I liked though because they did have that touch of black which I thought brought in the nice black from the master bedroom. And then over here on this wall, the shelf I got from Amazon. Anything I got from Amazon, I will have linked in my description, so check that out. But then this basket, I actually already owned. Big thing if you're working on a budget is shop your house first. So I just threw this basket up here, put some extra toilet paper in there, and then I ended up putting a room spray because it's a bathroom. Rolled the towels our extra towels there and then just got some greenery working with different textures like wood 
this is like a cement and then plants these are all fake by the way because I do not have a green thumb so fake plants but working with the different textures woven wood metal cement definitely brings a more cozy feel and then up top the same plant with face towels moving over here I kept the light there was nothing wrong with this light um, it actually works really well with the black accents so there's no reason for me to spend money on that the mirror is from Amazon as well so that I think one makes the room feel bigger because it's not as huge as the old mirror but works plenty well especially since we don't have a double vanity it is just a single sink I will say if it was a double sink I think this would look really pretty with two smaller ones like this going the long way over each sink but in my case didn't need that I got the new toothbrush holder and soap dispenser from home goods and then over here this plank of wood I already had these jars with the q-tips and cotton balls I already had I got those from Walmart and then this lavender plant once again not real for two reasons one I'm allergic to lavender and two I kill plants so but I think it's really pretty brings in a little bit more color with the purple over here I just have the um, hand towel and face towel hanging up I do think once we get a water softener we want to replace these but we don't want to replace them till we buy a water softener and I want to replace them with black fixtures when I do that I will probably spray paint this black as well as our toilet paper holder black but right now since this was still chrome I didn't want it to be sticking out like a sore thumb and mixed metals kind of work and then for the wall I got these planks on Amazon as well however if you are looking for a more budget friendly even more budget than what I did you can go to the hardware store like Home Depot and get plywood and have them cut it to size and it's a lot cheaper biggest difference is you just need a nail gun at that point to put it into the wall I liked the convenience of one it got delivered and two it had the sticky pieces to it so that's why I went with ordering them online but a hundred percent would be so much more budget friendly if you just went to Home Depot and bought plywood and had them cut it to size so that you could do this but that is the master bathroom all done I think it turned out so pretty obviously we didn't change any of the big stuff the cabinet I thought was just fine the countertop is marble already so I wasn't gonna replace that and I actually think the marble blends in a lot nicer now that we did stain some of these I think it looks a lot more intentional and then obviously the floor stayed toilet stayed shower stayed but just a coat of paint and doing this wall and a couple accessories added in and I feel like this bathroom looks brand new definitely definitely I don't feel like it looks builder grade anymore so I am extremely extremely happy with it I hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did don't forget to like this video as well as subscribe if you are new and I will see you guys next time Bye!